There is something special about this 35mm lens. For some reason, I'm choosing this lens over others more often than not. This is the Canon 35mm f1.4 L. It's Canon's first ultra-fast 35mm lens produced, and it needs to get more recognition. And the look it creates is something special in the modern age. And the reason behind it is this lens was released in 1998. Lens manufacturers nowadays are trying to make the most optically perfect glass at all costs. This older legend wasn't made with optical perfection in mind, but with optical character and flair. The Canon 35mm f1.4L was one of the original L-series primes for the newly released at the time, EF mount. This lens is constructed with 11 elements in 9 groups, with one of those elements being a spherical ground glass. The autofocus system is fast and reliable on DSLRs, and it's even better on my R3 nowadays. The lens also features a full-time manual focus override, which allows you to adjust the focus manually without switching to manual focus. The standout feature of this lens is its fast maximum aperture of f1.4 and the wide-angles field of vision of this lens, which allows for some incredibly cinematic photos and videos even in low light. The bokeh with this lens is super smooth and has a dreamlike look to it. It has a very interesting effect near the corner of the image circle. It's not quite cat's eye, but a different look to other lenses I own. There's some vignetting wide open, which is gone if you stop down to f2.8, but it's all a part of the look. The 35mm focal length is truly a cinematic focal length in my eyes. Combined with a fast aperture like this, and you are left with a wide shot, which has some amazing separation and pop to it. This lens produces imagery that is just stunning. There is no other way to describe the images coming from this lens. I want more new lenses that are flawed in design, that will give the special character to images. Hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did leave a like and follow me for more, I will see you in the next one, bye bye!